Hello! Happy Monday! Whether it be evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it may be for you, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to my channel. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, The Game Cupboard, for that subscription. As you know, tonight is my first affiliate stream, and you are now officially my first subscriber. So thank you very much. It has been a lot of fun getting to stream each week, and having you raid into me has meant a lot. Uh, it, without all your raids, I probably wouldn't have hit affiliate so easily. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I really had a lot of fun this, this weekend as you did your charity stream as we got to play Blood on the Clock Tower. And I kind of sneakily killed off Chris to keep the evil team in the game. And, went, and hello, Chelsea. I hope you're doing well today as well. I hope your Monday is wonderful. I hope the game covered that you've gotten some rest today uh, and yesterday as you recover from your 24 hours of streaming. I know, and then, <laughs> absolute boss move. Oh, I was afraid we were going to lose it, and I felt that was my only chance to keep the evil team in the game, uh, was to kill off my own demon imp overlord, and really throw all of the blame somewhere else, because then it was like, okay, no one's going to suspect me now that I've killed one of my own. They're like, okay, all the blame somewhere else, and we got it. Uh, of course, it, it was a joy to be able to support you and for the great, uh, the great cause you were supporting. And I just blanked on the full name of it. It was EDS. I'm sure you can correct me on what it was. But, of course, with how much streaming I do with Chris, the charity board gamer, any cause to help others is always at the top of my list to either help on stream, be there as a mod, or even contribute when I'm able so and that's what I was able to do this time both on stream and a little bit of money so I'm glad I was able to do that and help you hit above and beyond your goal uh, it was amazing to see how much y'all earned and, and support for that charity so congrats on your first 24 hour stream and hitting above and beyond your goal and then let's see Elhurst Dan lost support you get yep Yes. So thank you for showing up tonight. To it, it means a lot to for you to be here for my first official affiliate stream. Uh, like I, I hit it a little over a week ago, but had to deal with like setting up all the stuff, as you know, being an affiliate yourself. But now you can officially earn bits, or I'm going to call them uh, slices of joy for the channel points, because that's what we're all about: playing games and spreading joy. And so we're going to be earning some joy around here as we play games. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be playing a lot of the different solo games that I've had on the stream already. Uh, just hanging out, probably rotate through them. If I have time, I'll play them again. Hopefully, you can play along if you have the game. Um, but since y'all are here, I'll let you choose the first game we play. Uh, let's see. Let's, here's the best game for it. So, these four are some of the easiest to play along with that I've played already. They're pretty well-known games. You may or may not have them. I had links for them at one time to play along, but I can walk you through how to play along as well. But since y'all are here, y'all get to pick the first game we play tonight. Afternoon, whatever time it is for everyone joining. And if you, if you don't know what the games are, feel free to ask. I'll describe what, the different, what each game is like. Most of them are along the kind of... Uh, we know it's a flip and right. We got a roll and right. Uh, I need to adjust. Hello, Jess. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you have three out of four. Perfect. I just realized this is trying to auto focus on me. So let me do a quick adjustment so it doesn't unfocus as y'all watch along. It's one of the fun things about digital stuff. Welcome, Jess. I hope you're doing well today. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, so, since y'all are here, y'all get to help me pick what we play first. I really enjoy all these games, so I don't really care which one we play. I'm just happy to hang out today and have a lot of fun, spread some joy, play some games, of course. 
And Jess, how are you today? Uh, I know you kind of snuck in and started saying hi, and but it, and we didn't really get to talk a lot while we played Blood on the Clock Tower, but it was a joy playing alongside you. So it looks like Jess already highlighted a message, so it looks like the channel points are working potentially. I am doing well today. I'm trying a different camera setup uh, because as I turn to play games, I'll be more here with y'all. Uh, so I'm testing different setups, so I'm not always looking directly away from the camera. Hopefully y'all can see me better as I play the game right here. But yeah, let me know what y'all want to want to play first if you're going to play along. So we got to vote for Fiverr, finding. Always nice and simple. Oh, and Jess, I need to figure out where you got Crisscross from because I want to get a copy for myself. So if you know how I can find it, let me know at some point because that was a fun little game, something we can easily play on stream, uh, combining with other games. Of course, I'm not going to take away from your thing where you always play every Wednesday night uh, for the for the monthly challenge I'll probably pick my own game but I still would like to be able to play it on my own more often so unless we get another vote I'll probably start with Fiverr or find him oh now we now we got a now we got a vote going on between cartographers and Fiverr of course we'll probably play them all but because y'all are here together at the beginning y'all get to vote together so, if Chelsea's still here, maybe we need to get, a, get her vote now. She can break the tie, maybe? See what she thinks. And if the music is too loud, too low, just let me know. <laughs> We're saying first one to speak up, so apparently Jess's vote of Fiverr might might get the, the tiebreaker then. I'll at least shift the other games to the side for now as we finalize that vote i'm sure we have time for all of them and then once we get to cartographers i can show you the game mat i have for it as well because i like showing that off because it's so nice looking pull out five and of course the fun dice uh, like I've done before on stream, I will probably, most likely, not use the timer. Uh, just because it's easier to hang out, talk, chat, and all that jazz. Um, but we will be going with the... It's been a little while since I pulled this game out. We'll make sure get, we get the rules right. And y'all can correct me if I play it wrong. Oh, Jess is just lurking. So play whatever. Well... In that case, the game cupboard, if y'all would prefer to play cartographer so you can play along, just say the word. Oh yeah, I saw that you stayed up 34 hours total, so you didn't mess up your sleep schedule too much. I remember doing that when I occasionally did all-nighters. Uh, sometimes it is better to just chug on through a little bit extra so you can get to bed closer to regular time. Ooh, from Amazon. Well, to be honest, I checked there today, and it was not available, so I wonder if it was just completely out of stock, out of print, or what else is going on with it that it can't be found currently. But thank you for that information. Okay, I will put, so, you, so it's easier to see, I'm, I'm going to put all the shapes... I will switch the camera and try to put all the shapes in this view for y'all. Uh, let's probably help if I sort them. Let's put ones up here. There we go. All relatively in view. I guess the little bit harder ones to see are these ones because that white is pretty close. 
Yeah, I checked my FLGS. I will have to do that. I'm still learning all the stores that are near me since I haven't been in the area super long, but I bet Chelsea knows some of the better stores to check around me since she only lives about 20 minutes away. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep this here. Uh, let's see. I can't remember which map, which of these board, map boards was considered the one that everyone plays. So I'm just going to choose one randomly. If you're playing along, choose your own. Happy to just chill. We'll have to head off in half an hour or so anyway. So as up uh, early for work. Well, playing or not, I'm happy that you're here hanging out and spreading the joy with me. And I really do appreciate that sub right off the bat. It means a great deal uh, showing your support for me. I'll definitely check the BGG marketplace as well. Mm, don't want to zoom this in. No, nope, I'll do it this way. So let me know if you don't know how to play Fiber Finding. Um, I'll go over the gist of it. I know I've taught on here before. I know Chelsea played along. But for the most part, rolling the dice, finding shapes on your board that line up with those shapes that match the pat the dice rolled. We will be playing It Takes Two on stream again. That game was so much fun to watch. Oh, I'm assuming you're asking game. Yep, it looks like you're asking the game covered. Yeah, I realize so many of us have overlapping stream time so often that it, it we miss some of the different games. So it is cool to when we have a little break to go watch the other one. That was kind of part of the intent of trying to do a little bit longer stream tonight to hang out and hopefully hit more different times that people typically can't join. I'm actually going to stream for about six hours total tonight instead of my typical two to three. And it's Panic. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. So what we have out right now is Fiverr Finding. It is a roll and write or draw, however you want to call it, where we're finding shapes based on the symbols we roll on the dice. We have not quite started yet, so if you want to play along, if you happen to have your own copy, that's great. Or you can suggest the ones I need to find. I'm going to probably switch the view so you can see my board better and have the shapes off in the corner. There we go. So hopefully all those shapes are still in view. Maybe a little bit of shift will help you all out. As I adjust. There we go. That should work. And how was your day, Panic? Uh, plenty of games since Saturday night. Um, since Blood on the Clock Tower. We'll get our first roll in. Now, this is a great example of one roll we cannot use. Uh, there's three circles. Anytime there are three or more of the same symbol, we have to re-roll. So we will be re-rolling these. So in this case, we have two purple circles, the red star, the blue flower, and the yellow diamond. And part of this game is once you find one of the shapes, you can't use it again. Oh, that's unfortunate, Panic. I'm sorry your day has been meh and that you had to work overnight. Um, but I, I guess it does make it harder when it's the beginning of the week and that happens. It can mess up the rest of the week and it throws off your sleep schedule. So I'm sorry to hear that and I hope the rest of your day and week do get better from, from this, though. So since we can only find each shape once and they're each worth of certain amount of points a lot of times if you search for the higher higher value ones first you can score better by the end because if you can't find something in a round you basically cross draw one of those shapes on your board don't score it and then you can't use it again yes i i am glad that you're here in chat as well 
Did a late night BJ stream after the blood on the clock tower. Oh, we played 13 clues and the crew. Those are two games I still need to try out. Um, I have the crew. Um, I think I still need to un actually unbox it, um, unwrap it. it. I received it as a gift or a giveaway. I can't remember which. But now that I'm starting to go to in-person gaming groups again, I can pull it off the shelf and get ready to take it to a group. So I probably should find one of these shapes with these symbols. If you see it and you want me to draw it on the board I'm using, feel free to say so. Or if y'all really want to, I can throw off on a different board over here, which I think, nope, exact same board. Look, we'll give y'all a different board if y'all want to play along a different board. Leave that to the side and you can see who does better about that. Make it a little bit easier for y'all to play along if you don't have the game. So, where do I want to start? Double purple, diamond red, double purple. You know what? I see the perfect four line for me. So, that four, four point line right there on the bottom. This is the shape right here. It just means I can't use it again now for the rest of the game. So since there are 12 shapes, we have 12 total rounds we'll go through for this game. Let me know if y'all want to play along on this other board, or y'all can just watch along and tell me how to play, how to do better in my game, because I have not played this very often, so I'm not the best at it. But that's half the fun of gaming, is getting better and really learning the games and the different strategies. So unless y'all want to go over here, I'll go ahead and roll for the next one. So we'll get the next one going then. This time we have two yellow diamonds, an orange, a red, and the blue diamond. Let's see what I can find. And I've also found that searching for stuff around the borders helps you not block yourself in too much as well when you play this game. So like, since we have Two of the yellow diamonds, like starting to search in these corners. If it was near that, I probably would have tried there. Typically, I don't have specific shapes in mind. I just see where I can find all the colors together and then compare the shape and hope it's one of the higher value ones. So, look here, I have a double yellow. I see the blue, red, and orange. It's just a one point shape but it also is tight into a corner with another shape I've used so it's not a bad option because I don't think anything else is going to give me a good border move uh, unless y'all can see something I'm missing Yep, I plan, so I started a bit earlier than usual. Um, I typically stream starting about 8 o'clock on Mondays. I decided for the fun of it, for my first big affiliate stream, uh, especially to give people a chance to start really start earning the channel points, I started early. I started at 5 Eastern. I'm going to stream till 11 Eastern, so 6 hours. I should be able to do it without too big of an issue since I've done enough charity streams with Chris where we do longer days. So, should be fun. I got multiple games lined up. We can rotate through if people want to play again, or they can suggest something on my shelf that's soloable. But it's more about hanging out, having some fun, spreading some joy, and of course playing the games as we do it. But most of all, it's great having y'all in chat, hanging out. So, whether it be closer to lunchtime, um, if you're on the West Coast, or 
if it's later at night if you're over in the UK. I appreciate you being here either way. Thank you, Panic. I hit it a little over a week ago and finally, like all the little approval processes you have to go through with Twitch and setting everything up, finally hit this weekend. And so this is the first official stream where you can earn the channel points and do do all that, that fun stuff that I've been wanting to set up for a while. And it's especially a lot of thanks to the game cupboard because of how often they raid it into me, helping me get increase my viewer counts. So I think I will go with this shape over here, two yellows, orange, red, blue diamond. It's only one point, but it's tight against the other ones. That's this shape right here. Next roll, oh, two diamonds again, orange, blue, and purple. So in this case, ooh, okay, double yellow, got orange, purple, and blue. That's well, a, a bit of a shame I already used that one shape, that war of working. Uh, I totally understand. Just help my daughter with the setting of her channel after hitting affiliate. Well, congrats to your daughter for hitting affiliate as well. Uh -huh. Depending on what you're streaming and how often, I know I, it took me a little... Actually, it took me a couple of months to hit it, part of it, because streaming at night when a lot of other people do, it's hard to get higher view counts, but regardless of how long it takes, it's still worth the ride and a lot of fun to meet new people and get to know everyone. So, what was I going to find here? Because uh, I need purple, orange, blue, yellow. Oh, where's the Z shape? And these shapes can be flipped over and rotated. So I think if you look right there, see how it fits on the board? That's a great spot for it. Oh, I just messed that up because that is the wrong blue I'm looking at. So it actually doesn't work. I need to reconsider what I just did. Uh... Blue, orange, yellow, yellow, purple. But I can instead do the two point seven shape, whatever we want to call that. It's two right there. Yeah, it can be a little hard to do without a little assistant. There's a there's a lot of people streaming nowadays, and there's a lot to a little details to set up on your own. So every little raid every every friend that can help join in is greatly appreciated Pansy, we're a dog once <laughs> well speaking of onesie you can kind of see it over my shoulder up here i act for the fun of it i have a parrot onesie yeah it looks like feathers it actually has a little hood with the parrot on it so that's one of the things I'm, I'm setting up for channel points. It'll take a little while for people to earn it, but someone can make me wear it for a whole stream if they want to. And our next roll is a red, two orange, and two of the light blue diamonds. So in this case, now I can do that three point Z shape up in this other corner. Right there. As just spends her points to highlight her message, saying that yes, she'll be saving her channel points for the parrot onesie. <laughs> well spent to to make sure I know that it will be coming, and I need to prepare myself for it. And like, and I I tried on the onesie when I first bought it because I bought it super cheap on Amazon. It was a little short for me, so I actually cut parts of the legs off and parts of the arms off, and so now I could walk around. 
if I walk around and it looks with my white legs, it looks like parrot legs sticking out without feathers. <laughs> but it also means I can play games easier without hitting all the components. But I cut the ends at the edge of the feathers, so it actually like has pointed edges. <laughs> And our next roll. Oh, we got three of the same, so we're gonna have to re-roll this. Oh, three of the same again. It's not gonna work. And again. Who jinxed the dice? That's three out of three on three. Okay, there we go. Now we got all different. Now something I haven't been doing but you can do when you play is actually use this tile, this extra board, to mark off the different ones you've used. The one you got was painted on. You need to drop a few pounds if it's going to make a return appearance. Oof, I'm not sure I could do that. Um, I, I agree. The, the losing a few pounds for myself would be would be better if it was painted. Um, so I'll, I'll stick with what I have set up for now. Uh, let's see what I... So we got red... Dark blue, light blue, orange, purple this time. I want to see if I can find this W, 4.W, sitting around anywhere. Uh, okay. Um, where's that? Orange. Oh, but what I can do... I think what I'll do instead is this 3.0. L. I can fit it into this corner right there. And let me go back and mark off the ones I've used up here. The L, the Z, the long line, and the, I guess you could call it the house, and the seven shape. So we are five rounds in. Painted on oh, no, just really tight. <laughs> oh, just like painted on, not actually painted on. That would be even more interesting if someone did a painted on. But then, does that pull more into the what, the controversial hot tub streams? I'm not sure. We need that. We necessarily need that in board gaming right now. We have enough fun just playing the games and hanging out with each other. And the next roll is two dark blue, a light blue, red, yellow. Uh, if anyone sees the shape, feel free to let me know what you see. Uh, two dark blue, baby blue, red, no yellow. Two dark blue, baby blue, red, and yellow. That's a seven shape. Oh, but we can go T shape. For a three pointer right here. I may be hurting myself and blocking myself in with nothing available in that corner. But like I said, I like to try to find those high point value pieces first. So if you get stuck not finding something, it's the low ones you're crossing out. <laughs> All about the gimmicks, but yeah, the <laughs> I haven't gone hot to rot. Yeah. I kind of agree. Gimmicks are fun, but. There's certain boundaries I don't need to go to, at least. So we are three, uh, six rounds in. Six left, if you're playing along. Next we have a yellow, red, orange, purple, baby blue. Yellow, purple... Now I want to see if I can find... I think I've done all my threes. See if I can find a four now. That would be really good for us. <laughs> Probably start to lose followers if you went down that road. I agree. Considering I just hit affiliate, I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> yeah. A, a, an actual onesie gimmick is enough for me. It's... That, my, my, I guess you could say my stick is already just playing games and spready joy. I don't need to be anything else that I'm not. Just gonna have fun, 
playing the games I really enjoy and spreading my love of the hobby and being as inviting and exclusive as possible is all I can do. Whether I have 50 followers, thousands of followers, it doesn't really matter. It only takes one person to spread a smile, spread some joy, and make, and make someone's day. WWWB Orange I need it to be red I need a plus sign Can I do a plus sign of that? Baby blue, purple, orange, red Yep, I found the plus Because we've got orange, red Baby blue, purple, yellow. So that was a four pointer. Needed that. Okay. Five more rolls for the game. Oh, we got three orange. We roll. That yeah, was leaning, but I'll count it. So we got orange, red, yellow. So that's, we got the Roy. No, no green, so no G, but we do got a bit of the Biv with blue. And purple. So, almost going for the rainbow. Okay, what shapes do we have left? Now we got that roundabout U. where it gets difficult because I've used a lot of the yellows already. Yellow, red, orange, purple, dark blue, but I can't reuse the same shape I've done. That makes that one harder. Uh, da, da. Uh, I see one I can fit. So this one shape right here, I can go with the purple, dark blue. No, that's light blue. Can't use that one. Well, I thought I had a chance. I guess not. Yeah, I think just having a... Oh, thanks for the for the blessing, Jess. And yeah, I think just having a fun open environment where you interact with everybody is better than having tons of people. Exactly. Because really, that that's kind of what ha having a game night's about. It You can have a ton of people at a game night, but then you can't hang out with every single one. So having a, a little bit smaller where you can get to know everybody is a lot more enjoyable than, say, like, well, I enjoy going to conventions. Like, you're not going to get to know everybody at the convention. And so... And not everyone's going to end up seeing you necessarily. So getting to focus on those in the chat smaller and actually getting to interact is a lot more enjoyable. And I might have to pass on a shape if I don't find it soon. Because typically you would have a timer on this, which I, like I said, I'm not using. It's about a one minute timer if you're playing with other people. So... But we're playing a lot more relaxed in this setting. Uh, oh, come on. Where are we at? Let's find the shape. Can I go Z? If someone sees it, let me know. I feel stuck. Oh, purple, red. Oh, what? There we go. Found the Z. The elongated Z right there for two points. That shape right there. Okay. Don't feel so bad about it. taking so long. But we can roll again now. We have, what, one, two, three, four more rolls left. So it's going to get a lot harder. Three of the same symbol, free roll. Three again. And three again. Tends to come in triples, doesn't it? 
Okay. Now we're good. Two yellow diamonds, blue purple, and orange. Now the shapes we have left are this W, the U shape, uh, the long L, and whatever we're going to call this one. Hopefully we can find this W, because that's the, that's the one worth the most points for us right now. But I'm afraid it's going to be hard to do when you roll a double yellow, and we've used so many yellows already. Uh, yellows close together. Oh, we may have just got really lucky with this. I found the U shape. We got yellow, yellow, purple, blue, orange here. A nice tight fit into this corner. The two points. So that leaves the W and two ones left. Two dark blue, two light blue, and a purple. Oof. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we got some purples together over here, light blue. Oh, nope, those are darks. So we need two dark blues, not not two purples. Two dark blues, two light blues. So we got two dark blues over here near each other. Uh, two close here. Uh, possibly these, but I'm not sure we have the right shape for it. If we saw the Z left, we'd be okay. But we don't. So this could turn into one of those situations where we just have to pick a shape, draw it off. It means we can't score it, and it block, blocks part of the board. Uh, so we got what, two light blues, but not enough dark dark blues. We need a different shape. Yeah, so I'm going to have to mark off a shape. So I think our safest option, choosing one of the one point pieces, either this long one or the L, marking them off means we can't score that one point shape. So what I'm going to try to do is pick a space on the board that's not going to block even more. So, like, I could put the L up in here. I think the easiest, so I don't block off my W is likely. I'm liking this shape, this four, the one sticking off of it, right up in here. I can't score that right there. I do have to cross it off. Won't score the points for it. Okay, so we've got two rolls left. Hopefully we can still find that four W. It's going to be really hard to do now. Two reds, a yellow, dark blue, light blue. And even if you're not playing along right now, I will be posting uh, videos on YouTube of this later. I'll probably cut apart the different games. So if you want to go back and try to play it yourself, be either beat the score or find shapes that I didn't find, be, feel free to do that as well. So of course, no obligation to play along. Enjoy having everyone in chat. So I need two reds. This is going to be the hardest one. Got some red here, red here, red up here. No purple, so these purples are in my way. Red's here as well. Purple gets in the way again. Yeah, this may have to be a write-off as well, because getting two reds like this together this late in the game can be hard to do. So I read there, but I don't have the oranges or the purples. Not enough red over there because they're already covered. Only one here. The one here with purples in the way to get to that one. So I do have to write something off. My last chance is writing off the L shape. So I have one more chance to get the W that I want to fit in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit this L in as far back a corner as possible. That does not block off that W shape. So since there's a small possibility of getting this W up in here, doing 
this shape right here along this back wall the least amount of damage to be in my way. That leaves just this W shape left that I can score with the last roll if I'm able to find it. And we got two orange, one red, and two light blues. And we hit the jackpot. This is exactly what we needed because we got two light blues, two orange, and a red right there. Meaning we can fit in that W right there for four points. And so, at this point, after you've played 12 rounds, you would add up all the point, all the shapes you've scored. And so, in this case, we scored all the fours for 12, all the threes for nine more at 21, all the twos for six more, 27, plus one one is 28 points. So, very close to the best score of 30. Um, but, of course, like I said, you can go back, attempt to watch this later if you're watching on YouTube, beat that score, or try one of the different boards with the same combination of rolls and see how you do with that. Because I did play the gray side, which is all the same if you're playing in the middle of the game. All the white sides are different. Well, thank you, Jess. I don't think I would have scored that well if it was an actual timed game. Having a little bit extra time while I'm talking to y'all to really think through it, not feeling as pressured, meaning meant I could find more. So, probably it helped that y'all chatted with me, distracted me a little bit, and helped me relax. But yeah, that is how you play Fiber Finding. Really straightforward. This game is designed for, by, designed by Haba for 7 to 99 year old. So, but as you can see, it's so simple. Younger can play it if they're good at roll and write style or, or finding shapes, especially if you take out this timer. And it, one box is good for one to four players, but you could easily buy multiple copies, play with more players, or... I've, there's also, you could basically copy this gray side, everyone play together, and have as many players as you want, which makes it great for streams. So I'll pack this one up, and then we'll move on to what the other vote was, since it's already been voted for.